Alright, um, this is a part 2 of our modeling tutorial for the horse. Um, this was where we left off the last time and um, we will continue with creating details such as the eye, the nostril and the mouth um, for this tutorial. Okay, um, before I go about doing that, I need to fix some of my um, topology of my horse's head first. So, um, a good example will be when we look at um, the horse or the topology of the horse, we need to look at how the lines or the muscles are running. Okay, so for example, if you look at the ear, alright, so this is telling us something. So, in this case, if I were to look at the year, this is not correct. So in this case, I would need to change the topology on my model. Right? So I need to create a split poly um, and move it to the side. And I can end it around the neck for the time being. And the reason is because if you look at it at how the jawline is going, this in fact you can imagine that as a separate piece. Alright, and at the same time, um, as I am changing the topology of my ear, I need to make sure that the topo uh, not the topology but the polygons is still going at quartz. So looking at this, I'll need to take that away. Okay. And looks like we have a minor mistake here. Yeah. So snap to grid and oops, I need to turn on my grid. All right. Continue my split polygon. And I'm just going to leave this part open for the time being. Okay, so the next thing that I need to do um, additionally is probably creating additional divisions for um, the cheek to the mouth itself. So let's take a quick look at how we can do that. So let me just get my split polygon tool. Okay, two will be fine. And as we are doing this, just um, make sure that you would want to fit accordingly on how um, the head looks. And if we were to look from this side, okay, it looks a little too flat.
Alright, so we need to fix the, the shape at the same time as well. Okay, so once you have gotten um, the shape and the form, um, you can we can start um, with the eye. All right. Okay, so I'll just I'm just gonna leave it at, at that. Okay, so the next thing um, that I want to do is to create the eye socket. Okay. So first of all, I need to look at where the eye is, right? So this is where the eye socket is, and let me just move this across, so then I can add addition, an additional um, division. So let me get my insert edge loop, and let me slide it just about there. Okay. And at the same time, um, remember we need to form, make sure that our shapes is correct. We do not want our shapes to go haywire. Okay. So the first one we have um, the eye, right, right, cutting right across. Then the next thing we need to know is the center. So this is the center and we will need to cut um, so let me just use a split polygon tool and I'm just gonna cut across like this now at this point of time I'm not gonna be too concerned whether if you know this is at open-ended um, five-sided five-sided um, we can always fix that later okay so um the next thing we want to do is to create the eye socket so we are going to create something like this like a diamond all right hit enter and then use your split polygon tool again and split it like this Okay, so once we have something like this, we can now select these four points or four vertices and use the skill to and turn them into something circular. All right. So once we have something so circular, okay. So I'm just gonna move um, parts of this a little bit outside because, um, as we all know the eye socket is something circular so the muscles around it must be also circular okay now um, the next thing we need to do is looking at our picture here the eye of the horse is looking forward and again also if you look at where the tear duct is um, or the, of the corner of the eye is it's really um, with, I would say parallel to our grid or parallel to the ground so coming back and looking at the model of the horse this is where the tear duct and this is where the corner of the eye is and they are not the same Okay, so this is where we need to fix this so very simply, um, we are going to rotate these faces and maybe move it a little upwards. Okay. So right now I will have my corner of the eye at this point and the tear duct at this point. But looking at this, the edges are not very good because they are quite um, distorted. So we need to fix the edges. So 
Um, one example would be if I take away this, I can in fact put it at this point, right? And this edge here, I'm just gonna put it at this point. Alright, and this is sort of my hanging verts. Okay, so same deal. Uh, this edge here, I'm just gonna take it away. Okay, just gonna put it there first. And this one, I'm gonna go up there. Alright, so this is how we would change um, the look on or the eye of the um, horse. Okay, and this is to help us to prepare our model for the eye. Okay, so the next thing that we want to do is to get an image um, for the horse's eye. So I'm just going to pause here and bring in the image. Okay, so I have um, brought in an image of the horse's eye. Okay. And we are going to construct the eye itself separately and then we are then going to just combine with the horse body and then um, fix it up. Okay, so first off, uh, I'm just going to go to the front view. Alright, and let me just turn it into X ray mode. I'm just going to create a plane. Now, there are, of course, many ways to create the eyeball, sorry, the, the eye socket um, or the eye itself. I'm uh, just going to show you what I usually do. So, I'm just going to create a 2x2 two two polyplane. Okay. And the next thing I will do is to just really quickly split. This edges. And you can tell uh, probably that this is what I always do to create the topology or create the divisions to form something circular. Alright. And the reason is of course being we know that if we base on um, the fur on the horses eye or around the eye you can tell that um, be it the lashes or the fur itself it's flowing in the direction of um, the muscles and this is telling us that this is in fact a very very circular um, muscles Okay, so the next thing is pretty much uh, fixing fixing where the eye or the eyelashes will be and I'm not going to be too concerned with um, the eyelids or the eyelashes yet Okay, so I'm just creating the form for my 
eye socket. Okay, so the next thing we are going to do is, of course, we are taking this out. So I'm just going to select the faces, hit my backspace to get rid of it. And I'm going to look at how this is going to affect my um, the shape of my eye. All right. So looking closer at the image, we are going to find the tail ducts, All right? And of course the eye. Okay. Now with the kind of uh, poly count that I'm using, this is probably not going to be the best looking eye but it will have to be sufficient okay so the next thing that I want to do is in fact I want to create the tail ducts and again uh, most of the time the model um, details would usually falls on the, the head itself because of the face All right, and of course um, additionally perhaps um, some other parts of um, but the f the head itself will contain the most details most of the time if uh, if you are adding um, an animatable stuff like blinking eyes or um, close-ups of the head itself these are areas where you will get the most details so the next thing that I want to do really is to cut an additional part here okay and perhaps I should really be putting it close alright I need to follow that so something like this and then I will need to have another one here so split polygon 2 again and do that Okay, so uh, the first thing that we want to do is we are going to look at the eye itself and determine the layers. So the first layer would be this round stuff, right? And then the second layer would be the piece inside. So right now I have this round stuff, right? So that means I will need to select these entire edges, okay, around it, extrude inwards, okay? So <coughs> this would define our first layer. And for our second layer, right, since we know that there is a piece here, so I will need to do an append polygon tool. Okay. And my third layer would be of course the eyeball. So I need to select that the edges around again and extrude inwards okay so by doing something like this this has given me a base of how I can create um, a detailed eye socket okay so if I were to look at the number uh, the smooth preview it should look rather distant but of course it's, it's still going to be looking flat at this point of time okay but it will give you some idea as to well okay the the line this, this is circular this is looking correct this is looking correct all right okay so the next thing that uh, we need to put in is really to create additional divisions to create the roundness of our eyeball or the eye, eye lid or the eye itself okay so first of all I'll need to create a spear go back to my front view and create a spear so maybe that big and I'll just move in somewhere like this Right. So the next thing is really to um, wrap our eyeball around it. Sorry, our eye socket around it. So I'm gonna create a new layer for this guy, so that I can set it to reference, and I will not be 
touching that. So of course first thing first I need to fix my tear duct. Right. So it should be somewhere there. And the next thing is the corner of our eye. Okay. Again the eye itself is not looking really that flat, so I need to wrap my eyelids around it first. Mm, the next thing would be my upper and lower. And maybe there too. Okay, this is just to give us a very, very basic, basic form on um, the form of our eye. So the next thing really to do is to increase additional divisions uh, using your insert edge loop tool. Okay, and move it out a little, and create another insert edge loop. And this time around, maybe move it in. And this guys would move it out a little bit more. All right, so this itself very quickly will give us um, something to look at, and also something to to continue working on. All right, so um, some of the additional stuff to take note when we are creating the eyeball, sorry, the eye socket is how it's going to be closed and how it's uh, going to work as a whole. Oops. Okay, so the next thing that we want to do is really to create um, the eyelids, right? So um, for the lower part, it's quite straightforward and simple. I'm just going to bring this out and perhaps just scale a little bit. Alright. And for this part here, we may need to make this closer. Okay, simply because it's how it works. Okay, because this would um, be how the eyelids close. So I'm just gonna put this a little lower. Okay. And of course, at this point of time, this is definitely not enough um, in terms of the polyg polygons. So I'm just going to add additional. And often enough also coming to this end um, as this itself a lot of time would 
equals in together. Okay. So we need to watch and just be a little bit aware on um, the effects of where um, the tail ducts, the shape of it, and whatnot. Okay, and also if this is not looking sharp enough, we can always add additional um, if there is a need to. And again, this is only if you are working on a really um, much more complex or much more um, detailed um, eyeball. Okay. So, uh, just some a few things. There will be times whereby you need to maybe to set this to almost look like it's closing the eyeball or something. Um, this is so that uh, when we when we are creating our rig, it's a lot easier. Okay. And let's set this a little higher. Okay, so the next thing is this. Okay. Now, uh, usually, what most of us would do is to pull this inwards. Okay. And we would. Uh, match the vertices. Okay. So then we would have something like this, right? And of course, um, there's still some stuff that you can fix along the way. But more or less, we have our eye ready to go. Okay, so I'm just gonna duplicate this across. Okay, scale it down, and perhaps go to this. Move it up, and looking at this, it should be more towards the outside. Skew it down further to really generally match with our eye socket. Okay, just make it really general. And of course, again, looking at our model, tilde is supposedly on the other side, so this is not correct. So what we need to do really is to set a negative value on our scale x to flip it across. Okay. So once that is done, we can then uh, select these faces and delete them off. Okay. And at the same time, can scale this up a little bigger. So that our eye socket is able to fit in. Okay. So we probably need to rotate this a little bit. All right. So once you have something like this, um it will be a lot easier to work with. So first of all, we are going to move our points accordingly. So if this is much closer, so perhaps this would move and snap to that part. All right.
Let's see where this would be closest to maybe that. This one probably right there. Okay. Again, I'm not too concerned on where this is falling um, because we did add additional points to this. And uh, additional divisions to this so we can always um, increase that later on. So looking at this, I know that well um, I'm gonna have a problem here, all right? So what I need to do is to split polygon. Right, and put it right there. Okay, of course, this is not gonna look um, this is not gonna look too right, so we are gonna fix that later. But at this point of time, I can safely say that uh, I have the eye on the right side. Right, so I can go ahead and mesh combine. Um, select the vertices, merge options, and set this to the lowest uh, available value. Okay, merge. Okay, so now I need to fix this. Okay, so knowing this is somewhere there, this will be further down. Okay, and this is way too much on the inside. So if you feel that this is not doing, um, giving enough divisions, again, uh, increase it for the time being. So perhaps I would want I even let me just distribute this better. So make sure that it's in all quads. And of course, um, at the same time, you can also select the vertices that um, you're having trouble with okay select these vertices go to mesh sculpt geometry tool okay and make sure that this is on smooth okay 
and if your radius is a little too big you can hold down your B key and left mouse drag to um, make uh, turn, turn down your radius so this will make it a little easier on when it comes to smoothing out or averaging out the distance Looks like there's a problem here. Okay, so I need to increase my divisions. And since this is only one, I can very easily use my merge vertex tool from one end and drag it to the other end. Alright. And if I were to look at this um, model, of course, it's going to look rather faceted. So I'm just going to select this model and normals, soften edge. Okay, look much better. But of course, um, the polygons here is still a little bit of a problem. Of course, at the same time, I can go back and create um, additional spear. To create an eyeball. Definitely need to turn this down, maybe turn it. Alright, so we would have a very nice um, round surface for the eye. Alright. And the next thing we need to do, of course, is to fix uh, our neck here. Okay, so looking at our image here again of course we know that this is coming out as one piece so this itself the topology should follow so in this case I'll take that out so in fact this is how I would um, add my divisions Right. And I'm just going to end it right there for the time being. All right. So the next thing uh, that I'm going to just create is to put this across so that I will have enough divisions for the nostrils. Uh, let me just continue and put it across. All right. Okay, so the next thing. Okay, 
So the next thing that I want to do is the horse's mouth, right? So looking at this, we know that uh, the length of is somewhere around here, so that's fine. Um, I'm just going to do a split to create the shape of the mouth. So first of all, I would create this, um, again, the half diamond shape kind of thing. Right, so this is to kind of give um, an opening. Then I would move across it. And likewise. Okay. And looking at this, um, the position here might be a little too far. So what I am going to do is I'm just going to split it to somewhere in the middle. Okay, so this would go across and this would come down. But right, and of course, then I would connect this one together and again this is to follow the form of the mouth <coughs> right so this would go up but a little bit and now what's and like I have mentioned before because this would then be turned off or deleted off to create the shape of the mouth alright so that will give you a much better clue of how it's well supposedly look like and how we can change the topology of things when um, needed. So uh, the next thing that uh, that we want to do is to create the inside of the mouth. All right, I'm just gonna. Just create something general for the time being. And this point here, I need to turn on my grid and move it back to the center. Okay, or if I do with my top view, it's a lot easier to see and is easier to tell that way. Okay, set it back to the center. And the next thing that I want to do um, really is to uh, let's see, select up to this point. So we'll need a site, and I'm gonna hit it extrude. Okay, and bring it in. Right. And what this is going to do for us is, in fact, I will, I can also use my um, much vertex tool. Pinpoint this guy to that and this guy to that. And just do it one more time. Point to there, and this point to there. 
alright and of course obviously uh, this point will need to be aligned bring it back to the center okay so we kind of have um, a general mouth so I need to create some kind of a thickness okay so I selected the insights and I'm gonna extrude All right. and I'm just gonna extrude a little, just a little bit okay I'm just gonna extrude a little bit and of course we are gonna get rid of this okay so once we have something like this uh, we are good to go and I can now duplicate special across just to show you what's going on alright and I think so this is I1 and duplicate and in order to of course put it on the opposite side I just need to add a negative sign here right. so immediately it's going to be there on both sides of the eye alright so some additional stuff now is the nostrils okay. and of course at this point if you want to um, fix up the mouth itself by all means because uh, the mouth itself is still kind of rough right but it kind of gives you a general idea on how to really create the mouth right. so the nostrils right so looking at the nostrils okay so pretty much I will need to perhaps put this a little bit more downwards right. and of course the nostrils is round right so I will need to create additional divisions again um, I'm just going to create right here for the time being again. So I'm just going to select these four faces, hit extrude, and scale in. This is just to create uh, the inwards. And the next thing that we can do, of course, is to um, fix the shape itself. And perhaps if I were to look at the nose here, because this is much um, facing much more outwards so I can push it out and bring this out Oops, sorry before I forget okay and also at the same time I need to make sure that this is round okay. and maybe make this uh, just a little smaller okay so the next thing of course is to extrude again and just a little bit okay extrude again and this time around I can bring this in a little bit more 
and of course towards the end um, you can always turn this into a single point okay, so I'm just gonna turn this into a single point and we can determine whether if we need to have that later on but this would give you a uh, also a general guide on how you can create the nose and of course creating the, the details of it um, I mean creating much more details for it is generally adding more divisions and making sure that this division um, creates the details that you need because I have seen quite a number of students adding a lot of divisions but these divisions are simply sitting there and not doing anything so one of the things that uh, I would always say or tell my students is that every single division that you create or every single um, edge of a text that you create needs to mean something so I can just end it right there for a time being again Okay, so perhaps that is a little too much let's bring it out Okay, so if you feel that the nose um, there's something going on that needs to be fixed further of course you can fix it but as far as creating um, this details for the nose and the mouth um, this is pretty much enough at, a t uh, at this moment because the insides of the mouth for example the tongue and the teeth the set of jaws that it's gonna use um, will be modeled separately all right so at this point uh, we will need to fix just the things that we missed out all right. and of course as we add our divisions do not forget to distribute it distri distribute it in a more evenly manner Okay, and of course uh, make sure to tuck in uh, the details for example the butt area and of course at this time if you feel that the neck um, itself is not having enough divisions we could definitely add that in there and I would always um, suggest that every time you create additional just make sure to fix it before you, you move on to the next all right so this is how I would create um, the basic details of my horse oops let me all right uh, additional details definitely you would need additional details to for example even the hair of the horse itself we would use planes instead again this is just because we are using details oh sorry textures if you need to um, really have a close-up cameras on your creature then you would need to model this um, separately as in um, having perhaps using your curves or whatnot to to create the hair um, let me just add a few more before I move on Alright, that might look a little better now. 
Alright, so just remember to, to spread this out a little bit more. This is still quite packed. So we need to spread this out and perhaps add additional one or two more divisions around and we should be good to go. And the last of all is of course to fix up um, the necessary um, form because this form itself is, is still quite basic. There are a lot of things that uh, I need to do with it and that's going to take a lot of time. So uh, I'll leave you with this uh, up to this part. Hopefully you can uh, or you are able to create the necessary basic details such as the eye socket, the nostrils and the mouth for any type of well for like, for like a creature sets you are modeling for. Um, thank you for watching.